Hello everyone. In today's video I'm going to talk about OLE objects in MATCAD Prime and I will show you how to insert them in your worksheet, how to edit them and what they can be used for. OLE stands for Object Linking and Embedding and you can use this functionality to embed new or existing content from other applications into your worksheet. The benefit of having this option is that you can create content using an external application that provides you with capabilities not found in MATCAD Prime such as a sketch, and then you insert that content as an object into the worksheet. Let's go ahead and create our first object. To do that, we go to the Input Output tab and select Insert Object. This brings up a dialog where you can choose if we want to create a new file or to use an existing file. For the first example, I would choose to create a new one. On the right side, we have a list of all the compatible softwares that we can choose from. This will look different for each of you, based on what software is installed on your computer. Let's say that we want to create a sketch, and since I don't have any sketching tool available on my computer, I will choose Paint as my go-to application. Let's extend the canvas and start drawing. Let's draw a beam and two supports. And let's also place a force on our beam. When we close or save the application, the changes will be sent to MATCAD and they are displayed in the worksheet. Double-clicking the sketch will open the object in its parent application so you can make changes to it. Let's say that we would like to add another force. The position of the object can be changed and it can be placed anywhere in the worksheet. But you can also resize it. By default, the Preserve Aspect Ratio button is enabled. If you uncheck it, you can scale the sketch on each individual axis. To go back to the original size in the parent application, you can press on the Reset Object Size button. The sketch that we have just created is saved and lives inside the MATCAD worksheet and there is no external file created. In the second example, I will add a logo to the header of the page, but this time I will create it using an existing file. So we go to Insert Object, Create from File, we have the option to browse for the file, and we hit Open. If we want, we can also create a link between the external file and the object by checking the link box. This means that if the external file is updated, the changes will be reflected in the embedded file and vice versa. Let's hit OK to create the object. We can now resize it so it fits well into our document. Let's open the image. And let's say that the color of the font in the logo has changed and we're going to save and close this. We can now go back to MADCAD and if we press the update link button on the ribbon, the object is updated to match the external file. Compared to the standard way of inserting images, the OLE object has the advantage that the image can be easily updated if the external source has changed, but you also have the option to edit it in the parent application directly from the MADCAD document. So we can go back into the header and activate it and let's switch it back to green as it was before directly from the MATCAD interface. And we can close and save it and the change is also reflected in the original file. I will stop here for now. If you want to learn more about MATCAD you can find more clips on the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.